I heard about the full body emotional detox through a friend who'd studied and he was discussing with me how powerful and effective it was. Um, and when he first discussed it with me, I had a bit of resistance to it and just hearing about it, I felt it, it sounded quite extreme. So I didn't know whether it was something that I would ever do. However, my curiosity and my desire to heal led me to actually go ahead with it. I wasn't a complete yes to it from the get-go. I had a lot of resistance to it. I heard about it and, you know, I've been hearing about these kind of practices and tantric and sexual healing work through different friends. And, you know, it's it's, it's something that I, I've always been interested in, um, but because of my own sort of belief systems about myself and my own confidence levels, really, I didn't feel like it was ever something that I would ever allow myself to do because I have felt in the past really uh, low self-esteem so I just felt that being in an arena where I'd be working sexually with someone and perhaps exposing more of myself on many levels, both having to take off my clothes for a session, but also exposing, bringing to light the wound and the traumas that I have, you know, it's because of my own feelings of self-confident, yeah, low self-esteem. I didn't know whether it was something that I would do, but uh, what made me sort of decide to go for it was just hearing from a number of friends, um, including the initial friend that recommended me, how powerful and transformative the work was. So I just found myself moving to a, a place of just trusting what my friends were saying and really at a point where I'm prepared to try anything to try and improve the way I regard myself as a woman really. I'd heard a lot of different things from a lot of friends. I've got two friends they'd explain that it involves body work, massage and then they also explained about developing connection activities and processes at the beginning and described to me about the method of using yoni massage as well and I think that was the thing that was really like startling to me when I first heard about it when I you know when they first talked to me about it I was like whoa I don't feel myself ever going into that but yeah so actually yeah my expectations of the session were pretty much what it turned out to be yeah well I wanted to work on feelings of disempowerment um just sort of really I've had many years of not knowing my own worth not feeling attractive, not feeling worthwhile, real body shame. So yeah, I'd say the first core issue was disempowerment that I wanted to work on. And then also I had shared with you about in the session about my issues with emotional eating and using food as comfort as a sort of replacement for a lack of consistent emotional support or, or love and relationships in my life. And thirdly, i say another core issue that I wouldn't want to wanted to heal from it was probably just yeah trauma in general really I my my own experience of trauma and the knowledge of that being stored in the body my experience during the session when I first arrived I was quite nervous and when I met Michael I thought he was a very nice welcoming individual and I, he put me at ease but I was still you know quite nervous Michael shared connecting experiences where we you know gazed into each other's eyes and explored each other's bodies and I found that really really did the job to actually drop the barriers although obviously it was it was quite difficult for me because I've noticed that I in the past have problems keeping eye contact and I think that's because I've experienced quite a lot of abuse and trauma in my life and yeah sometimes I feel unable to keep eye contact because I feel so overwhelmingly anxious and shy like almost as if I feel like if people look into my eyes, they're going to see something that they, you know, not worth. So it's bad if they look at me. Um, so I don't like having eye contact. But luckily, Michael put me at ease, um, which really, really helped. During the session, Michael did um, body work on me, pressing on certain parts of my body and using massage technique. And I found this really, really relaxing. And the most important thing about it was that Michael made me feel really safe. I didn't feel like I was being violated in any way. I felt totally in the hands of a healer and I found Michael was just sort of down to earth and really just humble. So yeah, even through the process of becoming naked within the session, removing clothes and um, and I have real shame about my body because I carry extra weight and 
um, I've got tattoos I don't like anymore and I feel like my body's not really the conventional shape of what's traditionally associated with a beautiful woman. I seem to have curves in the wrong places as far as I can see. I just felt safe and the more the, the massage, the body work, you know, went on the session, um, I started to feel more aroused and I, I felt sort of shame about that initially, which was an interesting thing to observe. And I actually uh, found myself trying to resist that and just not feel part of the healing process. Yeah, eventually I just allowed myself just to go into that feeling and using guidance from Michael and, and breath, I just so, sort of surrendered to the process. I just found it really, really deeply nourishing. So since I last received the session, it's been about three or four weeks. In terms of what I feel has changed since receiving the session was initially I had noticed in the weeks and months up to the session, I was experiencing quite a lot of sexual energy rising. And this was sort of manifesting in my life that I was getting a lot of advances from men in different arenas in my life, like people I met at work and, and online and just in you know different social outings that I'd had. I was actually getting approached by men, but it actually turned out that these men, you know, very quickly I gathered that these men had quite bad, had bad intentions towards me. I felt like I was experiencing an influx of men that wanted to interact with me because either they wanted sex or because they were trying to feed some sort of narcissistic. I was get, getting a lot of sort of sexual narcissists um, being attracted to me and it was really interesting. I, I just really didn't know what was what was happening in my life. And I, I was feeling a lot of sexual energy. And in some way, I kind of feel like it was connected, that the sexual energy that was rising in me was also, you know, part of something that was quite wounded within myself. And that these men that, I, were, that were getting attracted towards me were drawn to that wounding and also that sexual energy that was kind of seeping out. So actually, interestingly enough, just found that since the session I had with Michael, that the sexual energy has just sort of rising up um, within me, has, has sort of come into more of a place of balance. And I don't feel really sexually aroused all the time now. Um, and it, I kind of feel a lot more in, in control over my boundaries. And just before the session, you know, when I was getting these kind of men with unhealthy attentions popping up, it felt like I wasn't being so boundaried. But like now I just feel like I'm more able to be more assertive over my sort of sexual sovereignty and definitely not interact with individuals who I feel like even for a second have the wrong intentions towards me as a woman so that's been the most interesting thing but amongst the other benefits I've realized is I've just felt a, a more a deepened sense of calm and I'm actually feeling a lot more appreciative of my body and although it's not meeting the conventional of what society sort of regards as a conventionally attractive body for a woman you know I'm starting to steep my own beauty a bit more the days after the session, I experienced a huge emotional and physical release. Uh, my whole body started to feel painful. It felt like I'd just had some really hectic physical activity or loads of intense body work. I felt that my body was healing and releasing. I also experienced a release emotion, including rage and anger, uh, which I thought was really interesting uh, that that was stored in my body and it was clearly coming out. And then I went through a bit of a process where I felt like I was really, really angry at men for a while and that um yeah I think that that must have just been stuff that was imprinted into my body and into my yoni that actually I felt a deep resentment towards men for the way that I'd been treated yeah that that sort of came out and along with repressed sexual energy and yeah I went through a big process of, of just letting go so that was really amazing to observe a few words I'd like to say to people who are worried or concerned about receiving the session with Michael. Personally, my own experience with Michael is that he was very professional, didn't cross any boundaries, didn't make me feel unsafe at all, didn't make me feel under pressure. Um, I felt like I, ha like I was totally respected at all times. And also I found he had a good personality and was funny and humble and reassuring. 
and I think that he has good intentions for this work. He has a lot of integrity from the experience that I've had. I, I would encourage those that feel fear and resistance to honour that, but then at the same time feel into what part of them that's coming from. And yeah, I would recommend Michael as a practitioner for this kind of work because I did feel safe and I, I did feel it was an effective session. In terms of whether I would like to receive any future emotional detox sessions from Michael, I would like to receive further sessions from Michael and I do intend to arrange those sessions with him. I'd like to really, really continue my journey on to, into empowerment and being in touch with my divine feminine to help work through those traumas um, and the shame. Yeah, any sexual stories I'm holding from the past, from the way that men have treated me and the way that I've treated myself and my own body and my own sacred feminine. And yeah, I just really, really would like to work on just becoming all that I can be and to understand that, you know, however I look, and what, however, what shape I am, I am still a beautiful goddess because each woman is a beautiful goddess. Each woman has that Shakti energy that we can all gain access to. I think that would be my intention is just to continue on my journey of empowerment and self-realization and just, yeah, and if that can result in me having a really deep, connecting, fulfilling relationship because I've worked through those issues of self-deprecation and low self-worth and that would be amazing. <laughs>